China has the most powerful army in the world. Bruh. Okay, maybe not the absolute most powerful, but it's certainly in the top three. The Chinese army is impressive, with 2,150,000 soldiers, 3,700 aircrafts, and 370 warships, making it the major competitor to the U.S. Army. But what are the best military vehicles in the Chinese army? Which ones truly dominate the battlefield? Today, we'll find out together, exploring the top 10 most powerful military vehicles in the Chinese army. This list will focus only on land vehicles like tanks, trucks, and personnel carriers. We'll save warships and aircraft for another video. But before we dive into Chinese military technology, don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel. Thanks for your support, and now, let's get started. Number 10. WZ-5 E-51 The WZ-51 is a Chinese wheeled infantry fighting vehicle, encompassing two main variants the Type 90 and Type 92. Developed by Norinco, the WZ-551 was first introduced in the 1980s, with the initial model entering service in 1990. Due to performance issues, it was upgraded to the WZ-551A, known as the ZSL-92 in 1995. This improved version featured a refined chassis and better subsystems, enhancing its operational effectiveness. The WZ-551's design is similar to the French VAB, but it is notably larger. Constructed from fully welded steel plates, the vehicle is divided into three main compartments. The driver and commander sit in the front, the engine is centrally located, and the turret and passenger area are at the rear. The vehicle, which can transport up to nine passengers, is based on the Chinese Tiema XC2030 6x6 truck, a licensed version of the Mercedes-Benz 2026. Number 9. Dongfeng Mengxi The Mengxi originally referred to a series of 4 b 44 mine-resistant ambush-protected and off-road vehicles developed by Dongfeng Motor Group. Early models were built on imported Hummer H1 chassis, but later versions feature an indigenous design. These vehicles are tailored to meet military needs and follow American trends. For instance, the CSK-141 is akin to an armor-plated Humvee, while the CSK-181 mirrors the joint light tactical vehicle. The Mengxi name has since evolved into a separate brand focusing on high-performance electric and heavy-duty SUVs, inspired by the GMC Hummer EV. The first product under this new brand was the Mengxi 917, also known as the M-Terrain prototype. Despite this shift, Dongfeng continues to produce traditional internal combustion engine vehicles under the Dongfeng brand, including models like the MS-600. Number 8. GZM-003 The GZM-003, also known as the M3 Amphibious Rig, is a versatile self-propelled amphibious bridging vehicle designed to transport tanks and other vehicles across water obstacles. On land, it operates as a Ford Armor 4 vehicle with a top speed of about 50 miles per hour. For amphibious operations, the M3 deploys two large aluminum pontoons that extend along its hull. The crew exits the cab to maneuver these pontoons using controls on the vehicle's roof. When in the water, the M3 is propelled and steered by two fully traversable pump jets, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 8.7 miles per hour. The vehicle can connect with others using long ramps carried on board, enabling the formation of a bridge across water obstacles. Eight M3 rigs can bridge a gap of about 328 feet, supporting the passage of heavy tanks such as the Leopard 2A6 and Challenger 2. Number 7. ZBL-09 The ZBL-09, part of the Type 08 family, is a modern Chinese eight-wheeled armored vehicle designed for a range of military roles, including infantry fire support and battlefield logistics. Developed by Norinco in the early 2000s, the Type 08 series encompasses over 6,000 units and is used by both the People's Liberation Army Ground Force and Marine Corps. The ZBL-09 specifically refers to the infantry fighting vehicle variant within this versatile family. The Type 08 vehicles are known for their modular design, which allows for a wide array of configurations beyond the IFV role. These include armored personnel carriers, assault guns, combat engineering vehicles, 
mine clearance machines, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear defense vehicles, self-propelled howitzers, air defense systems, self-propelled mortars, reconnaissance vehicles, and command vehicles. This flexibility makes the Type 08 series highly adaptable to various battlefield needs. Number 6. PTZ-89 The PTZ-89, also known as the Type 89 tank destroyer, is a Chinese armored, tracked vehicle designed by Norinco for the People's Liberation Army. Introduced in 1989, it was developed during the 1980s to counter advanced Western and Russian main battle tanks equipped with composite armor and large caliber guns. The PTZ-89 is armed with a 120mm smoothbore gun, providing significant firepower against its targets. Despite its successful development and initial deployment, the end of the Cold War reduced the need for this vehicle. Production ceased in 1995 after approximately 230 units were built. The PTZ-89 was officially retired from service on November 3, 2015, by the 39th Army Group, marking the end of its operational life. Number 5. ZBD-04 The ZBD-04, also known as the Type-04, is a Chinese infantry fighting vehicle designed to support infantry with both firepower and mobility. It resembles the BMP-3 in terms of its turret and main armament, but it features a distinct chassis and internal layout. The earliest prototypes were designated ZBD-97, and the improved version currently in service is the ZBD-04A. The ZBD-04 is crewed by three, a commander, a driver, and a gunner, with the crew positioned in a two-man turret in the middle of the vehicle. The driver and one additional passenger sit to the left of the power compartment at the front right, while the troop compartment at the rear can carry up to seven infantrymen. The vehicle is equipped with firing ports on the left, right, and rear exit door, allowing infantry to engage targets with rifles or light machine guns from within. Additionally, the ZBD-04 is amphibious, utilizing two water jets for movement in aquatic environments. Number 4. ZTL-11 The ZTL-11 is a part of the Type-05 family, which includes a range of amphibious armored vehicles developed by Norinco for the People's Liberation Army Navy Marine Corps. This family features two primary variants the ZBD-05 Infantry Fighting Vehicle and the ZTT Svetkiv Assault Vehicle, along with several support variants based on the ZBD-05. The Type-05 vehicles are notable for their amphibious capabilities, designed to be launched from an amphibious assault ship and capable of operations over the horizon. They include a hydroplane feature, which aims to enhance their speed and performance in water, a concept reminiscent of the now-canceled U.S. Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle Program. These high-speed amphibious fighting vehicles are unique to China, emphasizing rapid and effective landing operations in amphibious combat scenarios. Number 3. Type 96 The Type 96, also known as the ZTZ-96, is a Chinese second-generation main battle tank. Introduced in 1997, it remains in service alongside China's third-generation MBT, the Type 99. The Type 96 features a 125mm CPT-98 smoothbore gun with a carousel-style autoloader, which enhances its firepower and efficiency. The main gun includes a fume extractor positioned midway along its length. For secondary armament, it carries a 12.7mm QJC-88 heavy machine gun and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. Its advanced ISFCS-212 computerized fire control system includes a ballistic computer, laser rangefinder, and automatic target tracking, making it superior in fire control compared to the T-72 tanks of its era. The Type 96 is equipped for all weather operations with night vision devices and image intensifiers available for the driver, gunner, and commander, allowing it to operate effectively both day and night. Number 2. Type 15 The Type 15, also known as the ZTQ-15 and nicknamed the Black Panther, is a third-generation light tank used by the People's Liberation Army Ground Force, Marine Corps, and Air Force Airborne Corps. It has also been exported to the Bangladesh Army. This tank effectively replaces the Type 62, which was retired in 2013. 
The export variant is known as the VT5. Development of the Type 15 began with public sightings as early as 2011, and it entered mass production in 2016. The tank was officially recognized in service in December 2018 and was prominently displayed in the 70th National Day Parade on October 1, 2019. The Type 15 is designed for improved mobility and firepower in various terrains, making it a versatile addition to the PLA's armored forces. Number 1. Type 90 The Type 99, also known as the ZTZ-99, is a third-generation main battle tank developed by China to replace the older Type 88. Introduced in 2001, it was China's first mass-produced third-generation MBT, marking a significant leap in the PLA's modernization efforts. The Type 99 features advanced modular composite armor and tandem charge defeating explosive reactive armor for improved protection. Its main armament is a 125mm smoothbore gun capable of firing anti-tank guided missiles, enhancing its firepower. The tank also boasts high mobility, sophisticated digital systems, and modern optics. Based on the Soviet T-72 chassis, the Type 99 has undergone several updates, resulting in three main variants. The Type 98 prototype, Type 99, and the improved Type 99A. And that wraps up our exploration of the top 10 most powerful military vehicles in the Chinese Army. From the advanced Type 99 main battle tank to the versatile ZBL-09, we've seen how China's military technology continues to evolve and impact modern warfare. If you enjoyed this journey into the military industry, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep exploring and keep staying curious.